In Palestine, we now hand you to Mohammed in the studio with all the latest business news. Thank you, Danielle. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,302.46 points, marking an increase of 3.67 points below last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investment services, and industrial sectors. And investors traded mainly in the investment sector with 41% of total shares. 69 transactions included 1,712,834 shares worth 453,281 Bahraini dinars. China's non-manufacturing sector expanded slightly in August. The Purchasing Managers Index, the PMI, came at 53.4 in August, down from 54.5 in July. Falling figures were mainly seen in construction industry and wholesale business. The services sector, which accounted for more than half of the country's GDP last year, saw slower expansion at 52.6, down from 53.1 in July. A new orders index came at 50.3, up from 50.2 in July, staying above 50 for the fourth straight month. China's manufacturing sector expanded for the 13th straight month in August. The PMI came at 51.7, up from 51.4 in July. Rising fast were basic raw materials industries of iron and steel and chemical industry to 1.2 percentage points compared to last month. PMI is a major gauge of economic activity, measuring increases and decreases in such areas as manufacturing, employment, inventories, production and deliveries. A senior Chinese official from the Ministry of Finance said economic and financial cooperation among the BRICS is a key part of the bloc's mechanism. He added the five members have implemented their agreements to expand their stabilize their cooperation in the field of technology, free trade zones, energy and infrastructure. The summit to be held on Sunday will be an innovative exploration of the BRICS plus model which could form a wider range of cooperation mechanism. In recent years, the BRICS countries have strengthened their communications and cooperation on their finance and economy. The five countries have co-founded the New Development Bank, which has made adequate achievements in its first two years. The bank has played a key role in improving global governance of sustainable development. British Prime Minister Theresa May pledged to strengthen trade relations with one of her closest allies, Japan. Both May and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe addressed a traveling delegation of British business leaders and senior representatives from major Japanese investors in Britain. Formal trade discussions are scheduled to be discussed later. This is a formative period in shaping the future of my country. And as we leave the European Union, so I am determined that we will seize the opportunity to become an ever more outward-looking global Britain deepening our trade relations with old friends and new allies around the world. And there are few places where the opportunities of doing so are greater than Japan, the third largest economy in the world. During the period before we leave the European Union, the UK will continue to champion the early signature and implementation of the Japan-EU Economic Partnership Agreement. This will be our immediate priority. But as we leave the EU, so we will also work quickly to establish a new economic partnership between the UK and Japan based on the terms of this EU agreement. 
Argentina's government will forecast economic growth of 3% and inflation of 12% in 2018 when it presents its budget bill in early September. The new budget will forecast a fiscal deficit of 3.2% of GDP in line with the government's current forecast for next year and down from 4.2% expected in 2017. The budget bill will be presented to Congress before September. U.S. crude oil prices fell today after Storm Harvey knocked out almost a quarter of its refineries. But prices rallied in the oil products markets, with U.S. gasoline futures hitting a two-year high above $2 a gallon. International benchmark Brent crude was unchanged at $50.86. U.S. light crude rose 16 cents at $46.12. U.S. commercial crude stocks fell by 5.39 million barrels last week to 457.7. 77 million, that's 14.5% down from record levels reached in March. And finally, before we conclude our business news for this evening, let's take a look at how stock markets around the world fared in daily trading.